Here's another implicit differentiation question. We have a curve. Uh, this is the equation of the curve. A point P on the curve has the following coordinates. And we're asked to show that the normal to the curve at P has the following equation. And then we're asked to find the coordinates of the points where the normal meets the curve uh, at, at, where the normal to the curve at P meets the curve again. Okay, so let's have a go at part A. As always, we differentiate both sides with respect to X in the way we are becoming accustomed to doing now. Okay, so we're going to split this differential up. We're going to say this is ddx of uh, 3x squared, subtract ddx of 2x plus ddx of xy plus ddx of y squared. ddx of negative 11 is clearly 0, so I'm going to say plus 0 equals 0. Okay, so let's keep going here, trying to tidy this up. ddx of 3x squared is clearly 6x. Subtract ddx of 2x is 2. And now we're going to uh, differentiate this using the product rule where x is going to be u and y is going to be v. So we're going to say plus uh, uv dash. So uh, x ddx of y plus y ddx of x. Uh, we're going to uh, differentiate this implicitly as 2y dy dx and that's going to equal 0. Last line here, 6x subtract 2 plus uh, ddx of y is dy dx, so x dy dx plus y ddx of x is 1, so it would be just times y plus 2y dy dx equals 0. Now at this point, I find it easier to substitute in x is negative 1 and y is 3. So let x equal negative 1 and y equal 3 and substitute in. So 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Subtract 2. Uh, and then it's going to be plus x times dy dx. So it's going to be uh, subtract 1 lot of dy dx plus y, which is 3 plus 2 times y, which is 6 dy dx, all equal to 0. How many dy dx's have we got? Well, 6 take away 1 is 5 dy dx. And negative 6 subtract 2 is negative 8, plus 3 is equal to negative 5. So add 5 to both sides, you get the following. So dy dx is clearly equal to 1. Okay, so that's the, that's the gradient of the tangent. So the gradient of the normal is therefore clearly the negative reciprocal of this, which is negative 1. And now we're going to use y subtract y1 equals mx subtract x1, okay? Um, and it's negative 1 and 3. So y subtract 3 is negative 1, x subtract negative 1, subtract negative 1. So we're going to have y plus 3 is uh, negative x, x, negative 1, x plus 1. So y plus 3 is negative x, subtract 1. Um, and therefore, adding 3 to both sides, y is equal to 2, subtract x, which is what we were looking for in the question. Okay, next we want to find the coordinates where the normal uh, at P meets the curve again. Well, for that to be happen, let's give ourselves a bit of space here. For part B, the normal is y equals 2 subtract x. And the equation of the curve is this here, which I'll just take a photo of to make it easier for us. That's the equation of the curve. Now, for the two to meet, the two equations must hold simultaneously. So if you want to find where they meet, what you're going to do is you're going to have two equations which you're going to solve simultaneously. Now they obviously meet at uh, up here uh, negative 1 and 3, but where else do they meet is the answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to sub 
equation 1 into 2. Right, so we've got our 3x squared, subtract 2x, plus x, and instead of y, we're going to write 2 subtract x, plus 2 subtract x squared, subtract 11 is 0. Now let's tidy up. 3x squared, subtract 2x, plus 2x, subtract x squared, and then expanded this out would be plus 4, subtract 4x, plus x squared, subtract 11 equals 0. Now it's time to tidy up. 3x squared, take away an x squared, plus an x squared, is going to still be 3x squared. Negative 2x plus 2x, subtract 4x is going to be subtract 4x. And here we're going to have ourselves plus 4, subtract 11, which is going to be subtract 7 is equal to 0. Now we're going to try and factorise this. It's going to be a 3x and an x. And how do we multiply to negative 7? Well, it's got to be uh, 7 and 1 in some form. So we might try here. Um, let's try negative 7 here and plus 1 here. And that would be the perfect factorization of that. Therefore, x is equal to negative 1 on the one hand, or x is equal to 7 thirds on the other hand. Now, when x is negative 1, substituting back in here, clearly y is equal to 3. And this was the solution we already knew about. We knew this one because it's the one we used in part A. And in this case, y is going to be 2 subtract 7 over 3. So y is actually going to be, in this case, 2 subtract 7 over 3, which is going to be negative a third. So the other solution is 7 thirds and negative a third. Okay, so the question asked us back up here, find the coordinates of the point, and these are the coordinates of that point here.